Welcome to a new altcoin update in which actually we should be providing you a macro update today but as I mentioned in the previous one on Tuesday right now I'm currently in Istanbul yesterday I've been doing my keynote speech there today I'll be jumping into a panel and I'll be networking with people in Istanbul um, so I'm not really providing that much of a macro update I'll be giving you some more background on news on the Saturday update, including my altcoin portfolio. But today we're going to discuss altcoin cycles. What can we expect from them? And why do I assume that altcoins are close to a reversal when it comes to the Bitcoin pair? That's what we're going to discuss in today's update. But before we continue, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also check out our free trade letter three times per week. Tomorrow it's Altcoin Friday, so I'll be providing you with some interesting altcoin setups. And also make sure to join our premium Discord, um, or at least our public Discord, where you can get access to our premium for one week for free. In the public one, you can ask me questions, get chart requests and more. It's a lovely community. We are building it up, so make sure to do that. Now, when we talk about altcoins, I think most altcoins have been extremely hard to trade as most of them are just a multiplier on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin goes up, the altcoins are usually going down. If Bitcoin stays stable, altcoins are correcting down. If Bitcoin goes downwards, altcoins go down even more. That's with most of them, and as, except for a few trending ones. So in the past month, we've had Wu, we've had Injective. Right now, we've got Pepe, we've got Wojek. Last month, we've had Arbitrum. This month we've got Sui, which is probably going to provide some interesting trading setups. But that's about it. So what do we need to look at if we want to trade altcoins? I think you want to step back a little bit. And in that case, if you are a trader, you want to have high volume, high volatility. So then you want to trade things like Pepe at this point, or you want to trade things like Sui if it starts to trend. If you are an investor, you're going to look at different charts and then you're going to look at cycles and then you're more of a swing trader, investor. It's a different thesis in which you're di taking different charts to make an optimized decision for yourself. That's what I do with my altcoin portfolio too. So in this update, and we're going to the charts in a little bit, we're just going to have an overview of what the scenarios are and we're going to look at the potential cases that we're going to take from here. So let's head towards the charts. So if you start discussing a case of the altcoins, you have to look at the Bitcoin pairs and you have to look at those valuations. So where are we at at this point? In the Tuesday update, I have been focusing on what I'm assuming that Bitcoin is going to do. In this update, I mentioned that Bitcoin is currently trending upwards. However, people are still stuck in the bear market thesis, which is understandable. Um, the bear market has been rough. It has been trending downwards. Right now, we're just making the first upwards trends, which is higher lows, higher highs, um, through which Bitcoin is taking over mostly. Um, you can trade altcoins, which you mostly can look at the higher trending coins to avoid that you're chopping around with your positions because most of the altcoins are just currently trending down, through which it is quite hard to estimate where they can end off and what you can expect from them in terms of uh, valuations or in terms of trading wise, right? So if you're trading altcoins, if they trend down against Bitcoin, it's quite hard to maximize your profits as it's just a multiplier of Bitcoin's price action. And then if you are looking on altcoins based on investment thesis, that is a different strategy because if you are looking at an investment thesis, you have a larger time frame, larger window, just like with swing trading, your window is relatively large. You can be underwater for a long period of time, but then you get rewarded for taking such a longer risk um, than when you are trading, because when trading, it's usually a very short time frame and window. If you look at the cycles, and as I mentioned with Bitcoin, I assume that Bitcoin is going to break through 30K. First of all, I believe that then the Bitcoin dominance chart is going to continue moving for a little bit here, which is going to provide a resistance point at 52.7%. I think that we're going to have at least more continuation, but we're getting to the end stage of Bitcoin dominance at this point. If you go back in the cycles, we know that in 2020, we had an halving taking place here. Prior to the halving in 2019, one year before, we had a peak high, the Bitcoin dominance peaked out. Right now, we are also since the entire bear market took place, Bitcoin dominance starts to rally up. 
most likely we are getting close towards the peak out is also the RSI is getting into a stage where you want to get close towards a potential high. As a result, I think that accumulating altcoins at this point is not the worst case to do, um, especially if the UCT valuations remain stable, but um, you want to take the DCA approach and take it slowly. If we talk about the altcoin cycles, we also need to look at orders against D. Orders against D is showing the exact opposite of what the Bitcoin dominance chart shows, right? So here we saw a peak high at April 2018 and also May 2017. After that, we've had the bull market, right? Trending downwards and the actual bottom took place one year before the um, halving took place for Bitcoin. And that was also the period where Bitcoin started to consolidate. Let's look at the price action uh, for Bitcoin. Here we had the peak high of the rally of Bitcoin, and then we started to see some strength on the altcoins. So if you go back to ETH against Bitcoin, we can see that ETH Bitcoin peaked or bottomed out during the correction of Bitcoin. Um, so the run was over, sideways action, and then we slowly started to rally upwards. At this point, we are actually doing a stable period for ETH against Bitcoin, but I'll get to that in a little bit. All is against uh, Bitcoin has also been seeing some bounces. So we've had a bounce here, we've had a bounce here, which is quite comparable to the bounce that we've had here too. Now, as we are getting one year before the halving, we are getting close to a period of a potential bottom on the uh, altcoins, right? So we're getting close to a potential weekly bullish divergence, and we are getting close towards a case where you're looking at to estimate or accumulate your positions because the Bitcoin pass are getting so undervalued to what Bitcoin's price is doing that people will be jumping over from Bitcoin towards altcoins. And what is needed for that? We need Bitcoin's confidence to get back. So if Bitcoin is going to um, break through 30K, that is your trigger for altcoins to start shooting off. Then secondly, um, if Bitcoin breaks to 30K, most likely altcoins will have one more correction which will bring the altcoins into this region here. And then when Bitcoin finalizes its run at 42, 45, 38, who knows? I would say 42 to 45. But if Bitcoin finalizes its run around those regions, that is when altcoins start to fi finally kick off. So Bitcoin needs to break 30K. Then the confidence in the market starts to get back. You will probably have more breakouts like Pepe or like Sui taking place. Then ETH against Bitcoin needs to bottom out and then we can start investing into those. But what we know for sure is that one year before the halving is the right time to start investing into your altcoins. We also know that in June 2016 we had a, a halving taking place. Orders bottomed out approximately nine months before the halving took place. So in this case, the coming months we are going to find ourselves in the bottom here. And that is the absolute best time to start investing into your altcoins. This also means that the USDT values are probably going to go sideways, but the Bitcoin pairs go down, which makes it more sense to trade Bitcoin, to trade high trending coins, and that's about it. That's my thesis on altcoins at this point. Looking at Ether against Bitcoin, what you finally want to see here is that we are uh, bottoming out. So what we see, here we had the exact same peak high peak high taking place lower high lower high rejection lower high for, for losing support um, lower high but bottom found here in this case we are constantly making lower highs as well and as a result we are still falling down as a result i'm eyeing a potential downwards fall towards the area here that is my trigger for the potential long for ether against bitcoin if that is found and Bitcoin finalized its run, that is most likely my trigger for a new uh, for investing into altcoins. It's a short update, I'll be focusing on this way more in the coming months. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll see you again on Thursday. Ciao!